Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the rhombus. The rhombus is like a parallelogram, but in this case the length of all sides are equal to one another. If we then draw the diagonals from this corner to that corner, let's call that diagonal P, and the other diagonal Q, notice that this is a shorter diagonal and this is a longer diagonal, we then realize that the perimeter of a rhombus will simply be the same as the perimeter of a square since all sides are the same. It is equal to four times the length of a side. But the area is one half the product of the diagonals, P times Q. Now where did that come from? Well, imagine that the diagonal P divides the rhombus into two equal triangles. This triangle right here and this triangle right here. And let's find the area of each of the two triangles. I'm going to label this triangle, so I'm going to make this into a solid line so you can see this. So let's call this area A1 and let's call this area A2 for the area of the two triangles, realizing that the sum of those two areas should equal the area of the rhombus. Now the area of the first triangle, A1, is equal to half the base times the height. Now in this case, the base of the triangle here will be equal to the length of the short diagonal P. So this would be one half times P times the height. And in this case, the height will be half the length of the diagonal Q. So it would be times half Q. Which means when we multiply this together, we get one quarter P times Q. Now when we do the same for the other triangle, we find the area A2, that's also going to be equal to half the base times the height. And here again, that would be one half. The base would be the length of the short diagonal P, and the height of that triangle will also be half Q. It'd be the other half of the diagonal Q, so that would be one half Q, and so we get one quarter P times Q. If we now add both of those areas together, we now say that the area of the rhombus, I'll call it A sub R, is simply equal to the sum of the two areas of the two triangles, which is equal to one quarter P times Q plus one quarter P times Q, which is equal to one half P times Q, which is what we wrote over there. So to find the area of rhombus, we need to know the length of the two diagonals. We simply multiply those together, divide by two, and you get the area, and that's how it's done.